In this lesson, we are going to create rating components. What we want to have at the end of this lesson is to have five star rating like this and also a text next to stars to show product popularity in the e-commerce website. We are going to use Font Awesome library to create stars. Let's go for them. Here is the plan. First of all, make sure you run npm start on the root folder. And also you have created another instance and in the front end folder run npm start to start application like this. And then it's time to create component folder and rating.js file. Click on explorer in the front end folder rc right click new folder components and inside that create new file rating.js for next step we are going to link font awesome in index.html open index.html and write before style.css link create another link and this link is gonna be to link font awesome set relation style sheet href to cdn library of font awesome https colon slash slash cdn js dot cloudflare dot com slash ajax slash libs font awesome we are going to use version 4.7.0 slash css slash font awesome dot min dot CSS and then close it. That's it. Here is the link to Font Awesome. And by having this, we can use Font Awesome icons in our e commerce website. Let's go to rating.js. It is very similar to a screen. We need to have an object that has a render method. Let's implement that const rating equal to an object. And this object has a render method. At the end, we need to export default rating. First of all, render method accept two parameters. The first one is the number of stars. And the second one is the text that need to be written next to stars. I put them inside props. So props is an object that contains some properties like values, text, and etc if props dot value it's the star it's the number of star if it doesn't exist or if it's a zero i need to return an empty dev dev empty dev otherwise return backtick literal and inside that first of all create a dev and set the class of this dev to rating because we are going to set the color of stars to gold and close that inside this dev we are going to create some stars let's go for the first one create a span inside the span create icon but here the class is very important for this icon we need to check the value so i put dollar curly braces because I'm going to write, write JavaScript code here. If props.value, I mean if rating is greater than or equal to one, what I want to render is fa space fa star and close single quotes. What does it render in the screen? It render a full star. Otherwise, I need to check props.value if it's greater than or equal to 0.5, I need to render fa space fa dash star dash half dash o. It means half a star. Otherwise, otherwise I need to render empty star. It's gonna be this class fa space fa dash star dash Oh, it's outline empty star and close the icon and also close the span. There is an ESLint error. 
and it says do not nest ternary expression. We do not like to see this error anymore. So click here, click on this lamp and select this one. And you can copy this from here. Go to ESLint and in the rule section, put it in, inside single code and set it to zero. And also you can get rid of this. So you will not see this error anymore. That's it for the first star. There are five stars. So I need to duplicate this four times. One, two, three, four. For the second star here, the value should be two. This condition should be 1.5. 3, 2.5, 4, 3.5, and the last one, 5, 4.5. So what I did in this component is to create a render function to show stars based on the props.value. But what if I want to show a text next to stars? To do that, in the last span, right after last span, create another span. Let's close it. And inside this span, I am going to use this JavaScript condition. If props.text exists, render it. Otherwise, it means if it's null or undefined, render empty string. That's it for the rating part. And we are going to use that in the home screen. Open a screen, home screen. And right after the product name dev, create another dev and set class of this dev to product dash rating. And inside this, what I'm going to do is to use rating component. Put dollar sign, curly braces, rating dot render, call rating dot render function. I need to import rating. When I remove last character of rating and type it again, autocomplete show me an option. And if I press tab, it's gonna be imported like this. Also for render method, we need to pass an object and this object contains two properties, value and the value should be rating, product.rating and the text. The text is gonna be number of review. I concatenate reviews with this text reviews if i save the file it automatically converted to template ultra which is more clear and better so here is the code to use rating component and this is the rating component itself let's check the result as you see here is number of stars but they are not gold to make them gold what we need to do is to go to style.css open style.css and at the very end of the screen create a section for rating what we want to do here is to add a class for rating depth set color to gold ffc000 and set font size a bit smaller 1.4 rem let's check the result aha uh -huh. this time it's gold but i don't like to have caption gold i want to change the text to black to do that let's use this css style inside rating dev for span which is the last child set color to 
let's say four 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 let's check the result aha uh -huh, you know it's this if we want to make it exactly like this we need to increase the font size let's do that change font size from 1.4 to 1.8 aha uh -huh, that's it so it's very similar to the final version that we have in JSM Zona. Great. What we did in this lesson is to create rating components. And at the end of this lesson, we have a rating like this. But don't forget here, the size of this text should be small. Inside the rating, inside the style.css, set font size for last child to font point four rim and by having this it's gonna be a small and exactly like the final one that's it for this lesson until next lesson which is about creating product screen you know the screen that shows all information about the product like this bye bye